Are you tired of living from paycheck to paycheck? Do you want to save money to invest or to travel around the world? Here are my 10 tips on how to save more money. Good afternoon everybody. Before we begin, I want to say that the point of this video isn't to save every cent that you possibly can. If you watch this video till the end, you can find helpful tool for budgeting. So let's begin. Number 1. Check unit prices. When you go shopping, check the unit prices. Usually it's cheaper to buy large packages. Often shops might trick you with sales like two products for one dollar, when in fact one large product would be cheaper. Studies also show that many people buy large packages but throw a lot away, so beware of that also. Don't buy something so much that you won't be able to use it. Number 2. Brands. While it's good to buy quality products, you don't always have to buy the best brand. For example, do you always need the latest iPhone or that brand new BMW? Using cheaper cars can already save you thousands on insurance and fuel costs. Number 3. Comparing companies. You should always compare companies for things like insurances and your mobile phone every year. For example, I used to pay over $20 for my phone every month, but now I only pay $7. While that doesn't sound much, it adds up in a year for about $200. Imagine that with every deal you have. You should also always compare the prices of products between the other companies. It is easy these days, you can find many websites for that. Number 4. 30 day rule. Now there is a lot of different versions for this rule that you might have heard of. For example, 10 second rule, 24 hour rule and 30 day rule. They all have the same concept, wait before you buy something. For example, when you shop online, stop to think for 10 seconds why do I need this product, or sleep overnight before buying something. This is to avoid impulsive purchases. Also, if you wait a couple weeks, chances are that there is a sale coming. Number 5. Think how much time it takes to buy something. When you plan that one week trip which costs you $2000, think about the time it takes to make that money. For example, if you make $10 per hour, you would have to work for 200 hours just to spend it on that trip. If you are still comfortable of spending that money, then go ahead. But remember, time spent is one of those things we can never get back. Number 6. Make saving automatic. These days it's easy to automatically save from your bank account. For example, every time I get paid, 10% automatically goes to my savings. We humans tend to use every cent we can before we get another paycheck, so saving immediately after getting paid, you won't waste that money on a cool hoverboard with 27 LED lights. Number 7. Cook your own food. Are you one of those people that buy lunch every day? It is one of those things that doesn't sound like a lot, but let's say you pay $4 every day for a lunch. That's almost 1500 every year. So if you make lunch at home, you can save hundreds easily. This doesn't mean you have to eat garbage every day, it is still cheap to make tasty food at home. You can prepare for a whole week every Sunday by making your lunches beforehand. This saves time and money. Number 8. Make a shopping list. Before you go shopping, make a shopping list and most importantly, stick to it. If you go shopping without one, you will most likely wander around the market buying things that you don't need and things that cost a lot too. When you stick to your shopping list, you don't wander around the market, so you don't look at every product thinking that maybe you should buy one and try it out. This way you also make less impulse purchases. Here is also one extra tip. Eat before you go shopping. When you are hungry, you tend to buy unhealthy and expensive foods. Not to mention if you are hungry and don't have that shopping list to follow. Number 9. Set a specific goal. While some of us are more goal-driven individuals than others, it definitely helps to motivate to save more if you have a specific goal to aim for. If you just decide that, oh yeah, I'm totally gonna save thousands this year, you probably won't do that. But when you set a specific goal like, I'm gonna save 10,000 this year, or I will save 10,000 to travel around the world, it makes it more motivating. You should also set a monthly goal. If you decided you are going to save $10,000 a year, it's pretty hard if you don't save any money for the first 10 months of the year. Having a goal every month also motivates you when you reach those small milestones. 
Number 10. Track your spendings. Last but not least is to track your spendings. This is the most important one. How can you save money if you don't know where all your money goes? Just a reminder, the point of this isn't to save every cent you spend. But when you track your expenses, you might be surprised how much you spend on useless things. For example, you might pay monthly fees for services that you don't even use. This also makes spending concrete. You might already know that you spend a lot of money on lunch for example, but when you actually see that you spent 1500 on it, it makes you think, is it really worth it? I have made this easy to use tool for budgeting. I have personally saved thousands already using this tool. All you need is a Google account to use it, there is no downloads or anything, just Google Sheets. A link can be found in the description. There is also a link to an instruction video. Thank you for watching my first ever YouTube video. Comment below what you think and feel free to add suggestions for my future videos. I plan to make weekly videos that help you to reach financial freedom, so subscribe if you are interested in that. Have a great day.